Ah, good afternoon. Uh, it's uh, Sunday, sometime in February, the beginning of February, uh, February 5th to be exact, uh, and we just finished a ski race in the village. And uh, the, the little village we live in does some pretty neat things for the kids. Uh, and one of them is a ski race, and I do my duty by coming in last every year that I ski the race. I came in second last last year, but that's because uh, one of the people, one of the men in the adult group fell down, uh, which I have done in the ski race. And uh, so, but this year I didn't fall down. I didn't um, do anything out of what I almost missed, one of the little... Uh, chicane things that you go through, you know, but uh, the crowd was there to cheer me on and say, "Hey, hey, 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 hey," um, and so I did. I did pretty well. I, I, like I said, coming in last is not a uh, uh, a bad thing. But the people in this village, boy, I tell you, they're amazing. I was so cold. I had my fingers folded up in my gloves. The ends of my fingers on my gloves, you know, got stiff with cold. They were so frozen. Uh, and my feet, I couldn't feel them anymore, but that was okay because before I felt them as really, really cold. And these kids are running around, jumping in the snow, and uh, the two teachers who organize this event, because it's a school event, uh, are reading who won and who lost, when, how people placed, not who won and who lost, but how people placed. And they're standing reading this stuff <laughs> with no gloves on. It's like, <laughs> it's like there's a wind blowing, it's minus... 15 to 20 degrees Celsius, which I'm not going to look that up and see what it translates. But it was a great day so far. It was, it was a really fun day. Lydia came in third of her class and beat most of the boys, which um, she's quite athletic, which I'm you know pretty proud of. She loves to ski. Uh, Nicole came in first of the women. Uh, this is the first year she's ever come in first. Uh, there were only two women, uh, so uh, it wasn't that hard. I saw one of her main competitors down at the gas station. She had to work today, so that um, really cut through some of the uh, stuff for Lydia. But it was out there. It was cold. It was, uh, an, like I said, an amazing day. These people stand out there in the cold for their kids and take pictures and freeze their ganoobies off. Now, that was... <laughs> I would wait for what this story is going to come into. I work for a, guy, a man named John Bandy in Texas. John is one of the most, he is a chiropractor's chiropractor. He just, that's what he came on the planet for. He knows that. And he does an excellent job at it. And we were working in uh, Houston, in the hoity-toity near River Oaks in Houston. And a young lady came in, and she was fairly hoity-toity. And she had been out running in the wintertime. It might have been right around this time of the year. I don't know. I don't remember exactly. But I know it was cold for Houston. And it gets cold here, like I said, 20 below. But there, you know, it's when it gets it's wet cold. But she came in, and she came in and jogging stuff, and it was kind of early in the day. And, and John uh, said to her, what are you doing? She said, oh, I've been running. And he said, you don't run in this weather. Because John was a Texan, Texan, Texan. He said, you don't run in this weather. He said, you'll freeze your newbies off. She said, I don't have newbies. And I said, oh, been running in the cold, eh? Have fun, www.micpeakperformance.com.